Jesus. Tonight we are moved to restore 
happen to be braced with the apostolic art media. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise God. God is indeed good to us tonight. Praise the name of Jesus. We are seeing tonight visiting are the brethren from nothing. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. I'm going to invite you. We will present you with the brethren from nothing to sit with us here on the restaurant. And is there Brother Stone is here? Praise the name of Jesus. Is there a minister not yet? Not yet. Praise God. Praise the name of Jesus. I invite the representative from Nashville to come forward. No missionary, no evangelist. Okay. Praise the name of Jesus. Is there anyone here tonight who were not here from Sunday? It's the last night that you're here tonight. I just invite you to start and give us all that. Praise the Lord. Retreat. You just want like this for us. Stand up. Okay, it's called. One more short retreat. Another one for victory. Praise the name of Jesus. Bless the Lord. Praise God. And of course, you were told that Elder William will be our speaker for tonight and we anticipate what the Lord will do through him. Praise the name of Jesus. Is there anyone else anticipating what the Lord will do? Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. We're going to stand here. We're going to stand and sing this chorus and teach the things that lead us. Praise God. I'm running for my life. My running days will soon be over. I just got to make it to the other side. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. I'm running. I'm running. Oh. My running days will soon be over. I'm running. I've got to get it through. I've got to make it to the other side. Thank you. 
mind. I'm telling you that Jesse, it was good. But the word said that left side, all the way on the same, but so easily, but at times. You know what I love about Umar? When she said that, where did that sin? Where did that go with it? Is that in that sin? Where did that go with it? You wait until the fall of us. So tonight, we need to get rid of the way and the sin that so the Lord eat of it to set up. Tonight, I have high love. And I am so grateful to eat you tonight. In the service of the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Talk to the Lord. Don't want to say something. Hallelujah. I want to greet um, Elder Williams tonight, um, and Prophet Dixon. Amen. Um, right this morning, I have the brethren, but they just walk in to our kingdom. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Tonight. Open the house. Open the house. A young man was here on one night. And when I saw him go to the altar, while well, I was walking up, he didn't put on his body. But he didn't come back last night. I didn't even get to the island. And somebody came down one night, and he said, Where were you last night? I was going to get to the island. The enemy keep him away. Oh, <laughs> 
Never pay. 
Thank you. Can I get another one? Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Everybody in this house that I know some verses now have a kind of a thing when it comes to giving on to God. We won't be calling it anything. I won't use my hand. This church is building. This sanctuary is enough. You know exactly what's happening. You see exactly what's happening. And we sometimes behave as if faith no longer works. I was at a function on Sunday night. And I heard the presenter said to a man of God, I'm giving you an open check. And you write whatever you want to write with your A signed open check, not even with the gentleman in the past. And said, you write in what I am going to ask everybody that has an offering. It's not like we don't want the Lord thousand dollars. It's not like we don't want it. But I need some persons to trust God in what he's about to do for you. As a matter of fact, through faith, It has already been done through faith. I'm going to ask some persons to exercise faith tonight. Everybody with a thousand dollars for me, just come and make sure you don't throw it like this. Make sure it falls on this. Every single person with a thousand dollar offering upwards. Don't throw it down, make sure it sits on the right hand of the Quickly come. We need to assist Pastor right in getting the center completed. Ella Williams and I are doing building. That's the Apostolic Art Pentecostal Church in Retreat Prayer House. Uh, House of Prayer, the Apostolic Art House of Prayer Retreat. The Apostolic Art Worship Center, Runner Bay, Belair. We, we are building to. I am hoping and praying for the grace and mercy of God that we can open by. We might open this week, this year. I, I don't. I'm not saying God won't let me do it. We're looking for another time pretty soon to be open this week. This church too will soon have to be open. We're not going to make it stay like this for too long. Don't break it. Um, I have about five more persons just run from a phone quick before I shift. Oh, five more persons just quickly run. I, I said this to one church one there was just encouraging their heart. And everybody in this house, if you, if God don't move on your offering from what you gave tonight, anybody in this house, even if I have to give you back and stop coming to me, God don't act on it. I never said to the pastor, called William Johnson and said, Sir, or asked Pastor Wright and said, Pastor Wright. And then the man was at a church and talking, talking, talking. But I'm going to tell you, Keshata, if God don't fulfill his word here, come back to me. We have gone to 
freely trust in God. I need, I want just to keep one, need four more persons, two, three more persons. Okay. I'm, I'm not, the preacher needs to preach with just the anointing a while ago, the anointing is still in this house. Three more persons, quickly. Three more persons, please. Need three more persons. Brethren, we're not wasting time when we're collecting our friends. We have a lot of people. We have a lot of persons nowadays that say we're not supposed to be here. I hear ministers now standing there in the pulpit and say, I'm not telling nobody what to do, what to say, what to bring. They must know themselves. I am asking the proof, God. How much more leave? One more. Pass it to let me close the house quickly. Let me close the house quickly. Everybody with an offering that you brought to church, if it's even to five, one donation dollar, we see it's even for one donation dollar. Come. I would love Bishop Johnson to stand here when he was in Connecticut. Thank you very much. He was in Connecticut. He himself and Ella Williams two Sundays ago. I heard a woman about talk about faith. Giving. Everybody will not offer it. Come, we're not going any further. We're not going to take it. We're not begging you. Just come in your offering. We have finished what I asked. I was instructed to do it. I have finished that. Everybody will offer it. Try don't let it fall off that handkerchief. Make sure it falls within the handkerchief. Please. Oh my God. I like that. Faith without works is dead. Substance. Don't let it drop off. Make sure you throw it there and stay on. Put it down and leave it there. We're going forward. We're going forward. And God will give his reward. Not pastor's reward. Put it down. Don't let it drop off. I tell you, don't let it drop off. Put it down. Put it down. I don't want it drop off. From the side, we have a lot of space. Amen. I'd rather have Jesus than anything.
was fully found, they were in one place, one accord. I want everybody to stretch forward to this offering place that's a holy prayer hand virtues that are there is through faith man of God had Prayed on them that God will. I want everybody who has faith in God, trust in God, stretch your hand to this. And when you stretch your hand, I want you to breathe. Everybody just blow towards this. Just blow towards this. Everybody. And say, in the name of Jesus. Multiply. 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 I get you back your hand for you. What drop? Bring this and the offer plate for me. Maxi. Pretty. Touch pretty. Okay. Speaking from my spirit to yours, yeah. I am not a man by the power of God's sake. Now, take a life on God. God is, I sat there. Something that I thought, I sat there. And after I am finished, I asked Bishop to stand and protect preacher. God is asking you to move from your comfort zone to Go forward in his service. And it is steady. Too many persons are waiting on you to do something. Please come from your comfort zone. When Adam and Eve got messed up, there was a certain place. That he would have met them in the of the day. And he went there and couldn't find them. Adam, where are you now? God knows your space that he would have found you and seen. Listen, let nothing. We always use. Past the shackle us when we speak to God and God releases us. And we keep evil brethren, shackled brethren. No, 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 God. 
God is God and he said he must be feared and worthy. Yes. Yes, Pastor, sir. come here. I'm going to hand over to you, Pastor. Come in. Just stand right here. Pastor. Uh -huh. Shut up. What is it that it will shut Stay no longer. It will. Everybody stretch your hands to all. When God needs a lesson, the adversary tries to do everything to hold them. It will shut. I get you one those two prayer pictures. I said, let me feel know it. I'm going to ask you, brethren, together we must. We are going forward in his service. We will not lose our reward. Let me feel, let us keep holding Pastor's hand up. We not going to let it down. Because we know the future is ahead. Bishop, you need to take from here. Hallelujah. Can somebody lift your hands and worship? Can somebody lift your hands and worship? Can somebody lift your hands and glorify God? But thanks be to God that He given us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. I'd like to read Pastor Wright, observing all protocols. It's a time for the preacher. Could he remain standing? But Pastor, can you lend us back your chair? Before my brother went down, I was planning to ask permission to call again. The other sister that yeah. received the courage, Mrs. Wall, Esther Wall. She's a principal for free, free primary and infant. And the Johnson was here Monday night. He wasn't here Monday night. <laughs> And we weren't online. Can you sit down? I plan to call her before the preacher. Yes. And we pray for her. I didn't hear a testimony, testimony before I came in Monday night. I didn't hear. But I was led to minister to her spirit. And whatever God is doing. Whatever God is doing. Let go. Let him have his way. She was down on the ground of the anointing. The Holy Ghost ministered to her two ladies tonight. Elder John Slaughter to her. Again, everybody with the Holy Ghost, can you just stretch your hands towards her? Ah, shut up. 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 Ah,
said unto the people, sanctify yourselves for tomorrow. The Lord will do one grace among you. And Joshua said unto the people, sanctify yourself. Put yourself together. Cleanse yourself. Set apart yourself. For tomorrow, tomorrow, somebody shout tomorrow. Oh, you're quiet. I don't just shout tomorrow. tomorrow. Say it another three times. The Lord will do wonders. Anybody believe that? Just clap your hands, praise in this house, and give God a praise. Give God a praise. And it came to pass, verse 14. As a matter of fact, I started verse 13. And it shall come to pass as soon as the souls of the feet of the priests that bear the ark of the Lord, the Lord of all the earth shall rest in the waters of Jordan. That the waters of Jordan shall be cut off from the waters that come from above, and they shall stand upon it and eat. And it came to pass when the people removed from their tents to pass over Jordan. And the priests bear the ark of the covenant before the people. And as they that bear the ark were come unto Jordan, and the feet of the priests that bear the ark were dipped in the brim of the water. The Jordan was overflowing all of his banks, all the time of hearts, that the waters which came from above stood. And rose above upon a heap very far from the city of Adam, that is beside Zareta. And those that came down towards the sea of the plain, 
he was a salt sea, failed, and were cut off, and the people passed over right against Jericho. And the priests that bear the ark of the covenant of the Lord stood firm on the dry ground in the midst of Jordan. And all the Israelites passed over on dry ground until all the people were passed clean over Jordan. Can you give God a big clap offering right now? Ready to cross over. Get ready to cross over. Tell about three persons get ready to cross the road. If you're going to cross the road, you can't turn back. You have to go forward. Do not lose your reward. Let me greet host pastor. Pastor Wright, Bishop Lyndon Johnson, who I hope tonight I will increase while he increases. I was trying my best. I was praying hard. And then there is um, Elder Wendell Johnson. When I heard him, I said, go preach and preach. I was, trying to boost, I was trying to boost the preaching. And now it's all the... I am not somebody who jumped the bridge. Um, and I, I, I don't want to say God said it. And um, so I, 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 I talk to God a lot. I want to come to, to speak. And I want to share with us from the word of God, going from the theme, going from the theme, go forward in the service, do not lose the reward. But I want to just you know, put a little twist to it from the scriptures. Get ready to cross over. Get ready to cross over. You would appreciate that Israel traveled for many years through the wilderness, 
on the, the leadership of the Moses. Amen. Amen. They had many obstacles. They had many attacks. They had some good days. They had hills to climb. They had some lonely days. There were some weary nights. And yet they still continued to move forward. One remember the Red Sea almost immediately after it came out of Egypt. God spoke one word to them, only go forward. Stand still and see the salvation. You've seen many times that the enemy tried, and God stepped in for them in the wilderness. There were times when they were hungry and God fed them. As a matter of fact, he fed them through the wilderness. He gave them manna to eat every single morning. Uh, to the point where Moses declared, great is his faithfulness. Morning by morning. We see where on many occasions the enemy would have fought. And the Bible tells me that at one point Moses got a little weary in his, and, 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 and Joshua and, 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 and held up his hand. The two of the two the servants held up his hand as they held up his hand. When I heard uh, you, you, you spoke earlier on about holding up the pastor's hand, it's very important. Let me feel that you hold up your pastor's hand. Yes, yes, yes. Aaron and Ur held up the hand of Moses. And every time they held it up, Israel prospered. And when his hand went down, the enemy prevailed. He didn't say they prospered, but they prevailed. But I want to speak to us that no matter what you're going through, God is with you. No matter what the situation you may face, God is with you. And the best thing that you can ever be assured of is the presence of God. For in his presence there is Moses died, and when Moses left the scene, and the Bible says Joshua took up, and God said to Joshua, uh, Be strong and be of good courage. For unto this people shalt thou divide for them in the inheritance of the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous that you may observe to do according to all the law. God told Moga and Joshua, just, just be strong, be courageous, go forward. And the Bible says by chapter 3 in, in, in Joshua, the Bible says they got to Jordan. They got to Jordan at a time when the banks were the overflowing bank to bank. It was a time of the harvest and, 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 and they, 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 they wondered how they were going to cross over. Understand Jordan, it was not uh, some people just think it was a very religious number one. But Jordan was 215 kilometers long. And it was at the time of harvest, it didn't extend that. That was normal. That was 215 kilometers long. What's normal? But at the time of harvest, when it overflowed back, flowed back in, it was it was way ahead. God told them, listen, you're going forward. Come on, what God said to you, don't come on, tell somebody, do what God says. I wish you tell them all three times. So the, 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 the songwriter bishop says, all what needless pains we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Hallelujah. So we suffer a lot because we decide we're not going to follow the God. If you follow the God, you must be victorious. Yes. 
Now stop it. Too many persons, as soon as they reach an obstacle, you stop. As soon as, as soon as something happened around you, you can't follow in church. But I want to tell somebody, move forward. God is calling you to a higher place. God is lifting you to a higher place. God is allowing you to move to a higher place in the field, in the land, uh, wherever you are. God is calling you to a higher place. Getting upset too quickly. You're getting mad too quickly. You're getting discouraged too quickly. Feel God in this house. I want to strengthen somebody. It's time to cross over. The Bible says that when they got to Jordan, God spoke to the servant. And God said to them, come to the servant, get, get the priest. There's some folks that you're going to step up and get the seven working order. If you're going to see the win, if you're going to see the victory, you have to step up beside your pastor. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. Become so lazy. You become so confusing. Yes, sir. God wants to move. Yes, sir. And start moving. You're watching everybody. To see who is going to work. Yes. Yes. On the upper way. New heights of gaining every day. Still praying as I open to victory and you must be you must be part of the victory we are about to see some extraordinary stuff tomorrow I wish somebody 
your son go tomorrow. Somebody struck you even to say tomorrow. I need you because you know what you left me uh, later on in the to do. But God said to tell you, that, uh, if you just trust me, stand in by yourself and get ready for what he's about to do. Come on, somebody show a miracle. You're not excited about it yet. If God said forward, the Lord, and then turn to, you got to move forward. So you have some troubles, bank to bank. As you get out of one, is another one. And we are bank to bank, the troubles are coming. But the Lord have mercy, I got in the church. And you have some guy said, I went to church tonight. Ah, you got to the church tonight. And God said, tell you that you're going to go forward. You're going to cross over. You're going to have to find some people, some spiritual people. It's not everybody going to go over with you. You don't want any of the body will come with you. Some people will fix you when you shout. When you get over and shout, they go on. They go on to something and say, I must not shout. Hallelujah. They don't know what you've been through. They don't know the struggles you're going through just to be here. I feel God on that one. So you have to kind of separate yourself from some people. There's some people who can't shout with you now when you're going through your stuff. You're going to have to separate yourself, hallelujah. And you're going to have to get some people who will sanctify themselves with you. Somebody prayed for me. They had me on their mind. They sacrificed their time. They bowed down on their knees and prayed for me. They had no doubts that God would bring me out, that He would change my life and set me free. Anybody glad that somebody prayed for you? Bang to bang. 
Somebody will feel the Holy Ghost just stand up and praise God as you want. Jesus is a deliverer. There's no other message you can give you, He's a deliverer. The Bible says that just so gather the people and say, Sanctify yourself. I hear you. Take the instruction for your victory. For tomorrow. For tomorrow. You are going to experience wonders. I wish somebody grab that in the atmosphere with me. Feel Jesus. Somebody shout wonders. Come on, grab it together. So wonders, wonders, Jesus. Wonders. I receive it in the the Lord will do wonders among you. I believe strongly in this atmosphere. The pastor writes, you're going to see some stuff coming in. You're going to see some destiny helpers coming in. You're going to see some persons coming in and giving you contribution that you never accept from them. But God is going to open some doors, the windows of heaven. Some people are going, up, going back while they can give it. Some people could give better, but God is going to cause other people to come in and give. I wish to the fear of God that in the atmosphere. I said, thank you, Jesus. Somebody said, wonders. You don't know where it's going to come from, but God said, if God said you're going to see wonders tomorrow, hallelujah. God said, God mean it. The Bible says that Joshua moved on what God says. And Joshua said to them, We're going, we're going to cross over. This river is no threat to us. Look at the vast expanse. Of this community, look at the vast expanse of this river. And it's not threat to us because God says He's going to deliver us. We're going over on the other side. God said we're going over on the other side, and God gave us specific day. He said tomorrow. You're going to walk this, and when you walk this, you're going to walk on dry. So all the sea you see. All the opposition you see. Hallelujah. God is about to put them on back, put them aside, put them on both sides so you can walk. They're going to see. The Bible says, only with your eyes shall you be home and see the reward of the wicked. And I'm talking to somebody spirit tonight. Hallelujah, God is about to deliver you. And you know what he's about to do. He's a stand and watch. You're worried too much, man. You're worried too much. If you, you see, if you, if you recognize what God is about to do, then you will just let yourself go and begin to worship God in the atmosphere. Thank you, Jesus. 
to the church this morning. The Bible says that when the priest got the ark, Shema. But when the ark is with you, all you gotta say, uh, like we saw tonight, all you gonna say is Jesus. Jesus. There's something about the name. I'm sanctifying myself today, tonight, because something is going to happen tomorrow. So all I'm going to say, Jesus, 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 there's something about the name. Oh, Master, save and sanctify us. I want the presence of God to be upon you. Jesus, light of fragrance after the rain. Jesus, oh, 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 oh. show us all you. Jesus, let all heaven. And earth proclaim kings and kingdoms shall pass But there's something absolutely. There is something. There is something about. There is something about I'm ensuring that Jesus is with me. You see, to sanctify myself, I've got to know that he's with me. I've got to feel his presence near me. And as all of us are wrong with God, I've got to feel him again. Oh God. So and you know my heart. I'm so I'm so I'm so I'm so Some of you have the presence of God for a long is calling you. You're backslidden from this church. You're backslidden from this house. You're backslidden from his presence. But God says to tell you, he's about to do wonders among you. He's about to do wonders in your life. He's about to do wonders in your family. Somebody said tomorrow. 
Thank you. 
Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I'm going to ask Pastor Dixon right now, could you just come and pray for this brethren at the altar right now? Pastor Dixon, could you come at this time? Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah. Sanctify yourself for the shift tomorrow. I each one that is standing here tonight, oh God, can acknowledge your presence in the midst of us. And we know you are here because you come, Lord God, and I for a reason. Here we are gathered at this point, Lord. We have heard your word, Lord, and we want to see the wonders. We want to experience the move of mercy, God. Surely, 
God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. And as you go, bless someone in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Yes, hallelujah, hallelujah. 